So if you're from Photoshop background, if you've done Photoshop before, you might know that there are some things that Lightroom cannot do but Photoshop can. Also there are some things that Photoshop cannot do but Lightroom can. So time and again, you might have to switch back and forth from Lightroom to Photoshop and from Photoshop to Lightroom and so on. So how do you do that? It's just simple. So for example, let me show you an example. For example, I've taken this beautiful image of the Haji Ali Darka. Now, there are two things that I don't want this want in this image. Those are the boats, two boats. Okay, so two things I don't want, the boats. So only if there was a tool that could remove my boat, like the boat removal tool, but there isn't, but there is in Photoshop. So how do you do, how do you jump from Lightroom to Photoshop? So it's that simple. In the library module or in the develop module, doesn't matter which module you're in, just right click and go to edit in, Adobe Photoshop CC 2015 or whatever version you might be using and the image will be automatically opened in Photoshop. Then you can go ahead and simply edit it. So as you can see the image is now loading and in a short moment it will just pop up in Photoshop like this. Now let me turn it, let me make the background dark grey as usual. Let me zoom in and remove the boat. A little bit of Photoshop tutorial here. If you want to remove big things, what do you do? Let me show you. First, let's make a copy of the background layer, okay? So that way we don't harm the background layer, we don't harm the original file. If something goes wrong, we have a backup, okay? So to remove big things, you need to use Content Aware Fill. How to do that? Select the rectangular marquee tool and select the boat and go to Edit, Fill, Content Aware. See, it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. If it doesn't work, there are other ways to do it. So I'm just showing you for an example, and it did a brilliant job. It needs a little bit of correction, but it'll not go into that because this is a Lightroom class. So let's do that with that, uh, that boat too. Content aware, and that is gone too. Once you're done, how do you bring this back in Lightroom? You don't have to save as, you don't have to do all those kind of nerdy stuff. All you have to do, you have to go to file and click save. And once you do that, let's go ahead and open Lightroom and you'll have that saved image pop up as you see right now. Let me show you the file name as you can see. Let me go to the grid and let me show you the file name. So see, it says edited in Photoshop 87.psd which means it's a Photoshop document. You can also go ahead and edit this over and over, go to Photoshop, come back. So now, this time, remember this time when you want to go to Photoshop and come back, all you have to do, you have to go ahead here. When you go to edit in Photoshop, there will be three options. Edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments, edit a copy, edit original. Now, if you want to get back all the layers, all the separate adjustments as you do in a PSD file, click edit original. If you want everything in a single layer, if you want to make another copy of this, edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. When you click edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments, all the adjustments that you made in the copy in the PSD file will be appearing in Photoshop. But if you click edit original, the original PSD file will open with all your layers intact. So guys, that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in my next video and I hope this helps you switching back and forth from Lightroom and Photoshop and enhance your creativity. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike the video, dislike it. But make sure you hit the subscribe button. Till then, keep creating.